Okay, let's talk about polygons. And here is a polygon right here. There's all types of polygons uh, that we study in geometry. But uh, first of all, let's talk about what a polygon is. Well, there's two different types of polygons. We have convex and concave. Let me show you an example of a concave polygon. That would be an example of a concave polygon. So what we're going to be talking about doesn't apply to these type of polygons. They apply to uh, what we call convex uh, polygons. And the difference is this. Concave is, is something where you kind of have this kind of, you know, it's kind of caved in, okay? So convex, it's more like out, okay? And I'm going to talk more about different type of polygons uh, here in a second. But the whole point of this video is we want to determine the sum of the angles, the interior angles of this convex polygon, okay? So in other words, what is the sum of this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle, and this angle of this particular polygon? But what I'm going to be showing you here is a formula that you want to uh, put into your notes to determine the sum of the angles of the sum of the interior angles of any convex polygon. But a polygon in its most basic uh, sense is just a figure that we can create from straight line segments. Okay, so if I take uh, a line segment and then make another line segment and then kind of close it in, a closed figure like that, that is a polygon. Okay, so our first polygon that we um, study is a triangle. Okay, then of course we can go to things like quadrilaterals, rectangles, etc. that are four-sided polygons. This is a three-sided polygon. Of course, this a particular polygon has six sides. So tell me the name of a six-sided polygon. It starts with an H, and uh, probably some of you can already see the answer from the description of this video. But uh, anyways, we're going to get to exactly how to find the sum of the angles of the, the some of the interior angles of, this, of a uh, convex polygon in just one second. By the way, if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answers into the comment section, and we'll compare answers here in just a second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I uh, am the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are frustrated with mathematics, maybe in your current math course, or maybe you're one of these people who don't think you can learn math, well, I'm here to tell you, you could be successful in mathematics, okay? Uh, irrespective of your starting point, what you need is great instruction, okay? So if you don't feel like you're getting enough math instruction, or maybe you don't connect to your teacher's teaching style, I've been teaching math for decades, and I really take uh, a style of teaching mathematics to try to break things down in such a way that anyone can learn this stuff and really focus on making it clear and understandable. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can definitely help you out big time. Now, uh, if you are preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my full homeschool math program and curriculum. And if you don't have any math notes, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if you want great grades in math, you must take great math notes. This is probably the number one tip that I can give any uh, math student to start improving. All right, so let's get right to it. Some of the angles of, an in, of uh, the, some of the interior angles of a convex polygon, what we're going to need is a formula. Okay, so I'm going to show you the formula right now, and we're going to uh, test this formula out with our first uh, polygon, okay, which is a triangle. This is the first uh, polygon. Again, it has to be a closed-sided figure with lines, so the first uh, shape we can construct with line segments, okay, that's closed up, is a triangle. Okay, so here is the formula. The sum of the interior angles, okay, the, in other words, angles here, the interior angles, the total sum is equal to 180 times n minus 2, okay? What is n? n is the number of sides, okay, that this polygon has. So let's take a look at a triangle, okay? Hopefully, uh, most of you out there already know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. If you know that, very, very good. But how many sides does a triangle have? Well, it has one, two, three sides. So in this case, n is equal to three, okay? So let's go ahead and test this formula, and let's plug in uh, three 
for n, and let's see what we get. So the sum of this, we know it should be 180 degrees, but let's just go ahead and test this. It's going to be 180 times n is 3, so n minus 2. So that's going to be 3 minus 2. Of course, that's going to be 180. 3 minus 2 is 1. So 180 times 1 is 180 degrees. So this checks out with our triangle. Okay, so here is the formula. The sum is equal to 180 uh, times n minus 2. That's the uh, sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, have you write that down. I'm going to show you the problem here, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to do this problem and uh, redeem yourself if you got the problem wrong. Okay? Put your right answer into the comment section, but here is our convex polygon. Tell me the sum of the interior angles. Okay, I'm going to show you the solution now, so if you're not quite ready, go ahead and pause the video, but let me go ahead and show you the answer. We're really talking about real basic algebra here, okay? So, first things first, first we need to know the right formula, okay? Now, how would you have that formula? Well, this is the kind of stuff you need to put, like, in your notes, right? There's so many formulas in uh, geometry and mathematics, you know, you got to be able to have organized uh, clear and understandable notes so you can kind of reference to like okay the sum of material angles plus you got to understand the definitions of what we're talking about we're not talking about exterior angles this is an exterior angle right there we're talking about interior angles okay now it's not enough just to have a formula you have to understand the what the formula means okay s is the, the total sum and n is the number of sides so how many sides does this um polygon have? Well, of course it has one, two, three, four, five, six. So n is equal to six. It has six sides. So we're just going to plug in six for n and go ahead and proceed with the algebra. So remember, we have to do what's inside parentheses first. So six minus two is four. Okay. So four times 180 is 720 or 720 degrees. That is the correct answer. That is the sum of the interior angles of this what? Hexagon, right? This is a hexagon, which is a six-sided convex uh, polygon. Okay, so uh, polygons, big, big topic in geometry, but if you got this right, matter of fact, if you knew this formula without me showing it to you, then I must go ahead and give you an awesome 1984 happy face with a 1984 flat top haircut in A plus and a 100%. That's pretty impressive, okay? Especially if you remember this. Wow, that's that's really impressive. You know, you shouldn't feel like you have to remember all the formulas uh, that you're being taught in math, okay? Do not uh, use what we call rote memory. Rote memory is like good old-fashioned flashcard, you know, uh, memory, the stuff that you're going to keep, you know, uh, you know, just in the back of your, in your brain at all times. No, you know, that's what notes are for. Okay, there's there's some things that you want to remember, you know, use rote memory for that you need to have, you know, uh, you know uh, basic formulas like the, you know, I would say like one, like the area of a triangle is an example of something that you should know, kind of like your rote memory. But a lot of these other type of formulas that we learn in mathematics, you need to just reference, uh, you know, by your notes. Now, when you take a test, you may not be able to use your notes and you'll have to use rote memory, you know, for your kind of short-term memory, but that's okay, all right? But right now, if you felt like you had need to, you know, uh, pull this formula, as long as you know how to find the formula, where to find the formula, and then how to actually apply the formula to get the answer right, that's what counts. So hopefully this video was interesting, and I told you it wasn't going to be too difficult. So if you were ever curious how to find the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon, well, hopefully this uh, video answered any questions you might have. So please consider smashing that like button if this video helped you out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math all the way to calculus and everything in between. Again, my whole um, passion is to try to make, you know, uh, math uh, achievable for anybody, okay? And you're really the only way you do that is to get people to relax about the subject. So if you have uh, math anxiety, you know, listen, uh, it doesn't have to be that way, okay? So hopefully you like my teaching style, and I have a ton of uh, uh, various um, math videos on my channel, you know, that, um, you know, can help you with a lot of different topics. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.